good to see someone is a fan of the pure agilities and the X's. Look at that red and blue there. <laughs> Look at that tracksuit. Check her out. Obviously on a little morning walk, having a stroll, burning the calories from last night, a bit of wine and cheese. So we are testing something very special today by Adidas Football. What is it, Maddie? We got the speed of light. Boot shelf. So we've got the excess in point one and that really nice solar red color. The pure controls in a nice solar yellow color and the pure agilities and a shocked blue color. Overall, stunning colorways by Adidas Football. We previously saw the Adidas Mercury pack at the Euros in Copa America. Nice. Now we see a pop of color with the speed of light pack. More to come on this vlog with the Speed of Light pack by Adidas. So the first boot we'll talk about is the X16.1. Now this is a popular boot by Adidas Football. Headlined by the likes of David Silva and Alvaro Morata for Spain. They did wear the Mercury Pack editions at the Euros. Overall, I think this is the, the best colorway of the Speed of Light pack. The Pure Chaos has a really nice solar red design as well. And yeah, the Adidas logo there, just shimmering in that nice little silver colour. Overall, a very sort of solid pack by Adidas Football. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I agree. I think that the X16, the whole range, that solar red colour is the best colourway of the lot in the Speed of Light pack. The one thing about the X16.1 that I am excited to test out is the upper because it actually feels very, very stiff. One of the stiffest premium uppers actually out there on the market. So how it actually performs in terms of touch and feel, I think that's going to be exciting. So I'm actually looking forward to test that one, maybe the most out of the bunch. And I haven't even worn the Pure Agility yet. So again, it's another new boot for me, so I'm excited about today. Okay, so my favorite colorway of the Speed of Light pack is of course the Pure Controls. Look at that chrome sole there. Yes, it will flake off over time. We did peel the sticker off there. But look at that boot itself, solely yellow with a bit of black on the Adidas 3 stripes and on the tabs and on the sock liner itself. Overall, I think this is my favorite Pure Control so far. Headlined by the likes of Paul Pogba and Mesut Ozil, Ivan Rakitic for the upcoming 2016-17 season. Who's keen for the Pure Control? I certainly am and I can't wait to put these boots on. And the last boot, the Pure Agility, Messi's boot. He's actually wearing the 16.1. What do you think about that, Matt? Um, what, in, in terms of Messi wearing the 16.1, it's yep. interesting that he hasn't gone for the elite range in the Pure Agility. He's just sticking with that 16.1 model. I'm wearing the finish at the moment, Nike's hybrid and finish, and it has quite a similar upper to this Pure Agility in terms of it almost has a honeycomb kind of texture to it. It doesn't feel as grippy as the finish, so how that actually does compare when on feet and striking balls is going to be interesting too. So if you want more information on the Adidas Speed of Light pack, we've also done a special sort of pack video on that video, so click on the card now if you want to see that. And we've also done a sort of pack, sort of playtest video on these three boots as well. So Matt's done a good job for us lacing these three boots up. Some nice knuckles, some nice juggling. He's, he's got it in the kit bag, doesn't he? And yeah, that video's up on our channel now, so you click on that video now if you want to see that. So you're excited, Matt, for the 2016-17 season? Yeah, I'm very excited actually. Um, I've even got a pair on order of the first generation Phantom Ones in the intense heat pack. That all vault colorway with a little bit of purple. We'll chuck a bit of a chuck a picture on the uh, yeah. on the screen now if you can see them. Yeah, so they're coming. So I'm excited for that. Excited for the new season to start. And in terms of actual like professional football in the Premier League, I think apart from the players. I'm really excited to see the managers. Obviously, you've got Conte coming in, yep. you've got Klopp in there, Mourinho's in there, Pep Guardiola's in there, Arsene Wenger's in there. So I think in terms of managers, yes. I think the Premier League is as strong as it's ever been. And one thing on FIFA 17, you've got all the player faces of the managers themselves. They're actually all going to be on FIFA 17. So that's a sort of another idea of what we should expect from the 16-17 season, especially in the Premier League. What about La Liga? Are you excited for La Liga or same old story really? Is it going to be, this probably will be the same old story. You've got Real Madrid and Barcelona battling it out, but obviously you've got Atletico Madrid who do so well for, for the last like three, four seasons. Mm. They've done incredibly well. I'm a huge fan of Diego Simeone. Um, I'm, I'm a Real fan myself, so seeing them doing so well is a little bit annoying and frustrating, yeah. especially when they beat Real Madrid, which they have done over the last couple of years, but they're yeah. a really good side. Yeah, definitely agree with you, Matt. I mean, they're definitely a force to be reckoned with. You've got Ronaldo again, he will be headlining this like fives again. You've got Messi, he will be wearing, he won't be wearing these pure agilities, he'll be wearing his 16.1s, we think, with the laces. So the difference between the 16.1 and the pure agility is the fact that the pure agility has that pure cut sock system, which is pretty much a lace cover. The Messi 16.1s is the much more affordable alternative, which Messi actually prefers, which pretty much has no pure cut. That's pretty much the only difference with the 16.1s and the pure range. 
So you should expect to see these boots in the upcoming EA Sports FIFA 17 release, which we should do a video on, eh, hey, Matt? We should have a little FIFA session, me, be you. Yeah. We should do that, set up a screen in the office, little cameras behind and at the side. See me beat you, obviously, I'm gonna beat you. I mean, I play this 424 formation. 424, trust me, kids out there, 424 on FIFA, it's unbeatable. Two locking up in the midfield, get the ball to one of them. Maybe a player like Xabi Alonso, if you can get Xabi Alonso, and then spray those big nine diagonals to the wingers. I'm in, every time, I'm in. You can't beat me. What do you think? Yeah, so Matt's a decent player in FIFA. We have played against each other before. Do you think we should do any FIFA videos on our YouTube channel? I think we should. It's something we haven't really done in the past. We should definitely consider doing more of these sort of vlog videos as well as some sort of lifestyle videos, if you like, on our channel. If you think we should do them, just put yes in the comment section below and easy as that. As we can see, we've got a fan in the background wearing the orange and black shirt. Cheers, fella. Got a former boots on Coda UK. He's obviously on the way to the train again. I want us play. Go on, boys! So today we're doing a special playtest with the Adidas Speed of Light pack. Which is your favourite? The Exercising Point 1, the Pure Control, or the Pure Agility? Please vote in our poll code now with which boot you would choose. Which boot are you most excited about to test, Matt? Well, I love the Pure Control. I've worn that before. I've tested it. I really enjoyed it. I wore the X15 Plus Prime knit previously last season. So the 16.1, I'm excited. As I said, it's got a different upper. It's quite stiff, so I'm excited to try that too. And the Pure Agility, I haven't even tried yet. So we did test the Pure Chaos, which you can click on the card now to see if you want to check out that review we've done on Pure Chaos. So they're actually quite similar boots, the Pure Chaos and the Pure Agility. We've seen how they actually do compare and differ. That's exciting. So I'm probably going to say I'm excited to test the Pure Agility. Let's go with the Messi. Pitch looking fresh as always. How are you feeling, Blake? Feeling good. Actually, can't wait to test these boots. Well, you'll do the testing, I'll do the uh, heavy work. But... I'm nervous. I've got three pairs of boots to test in one day. Never been done before. We've done a single, we've done a double, but never a triple. So, how it goes, Pressure. we'll find out. Pressure is on. Blake's put it on me already. So, an interesting feature about this 3G here, this 3G artificial pitch, is that the more you pound it, the better it actually gets. So what we're doing, we're doing our little pings here today, hitting some strikes and all that kind of stuff, and it's actually doing the pitch good. Interesting. I thought it would do a bit of damage with the studs going on there. As you can see, it's that 3D surface, but apparently, the more you pound it, the better it gets. So let's go play. So it's got a finish in the little semicircle, edge of the D. Let's have a go. It hasn't got the legs. It hasn't got Blake gone. Blake stepping up. Way to pass your dream. That ain't bad. It's too heavy. I've got a little Lionel Messi, it looks like over there in his Barcelona shirt. Is it Messi? Is it Neymar? Is he gonna take a pen? Champions League final. Ah, he's got it, he scored. No celebration. Ultra cash. So one of the more interesting features of the new X16.1 is the upper itself. It has that slash design. But what's really interesting is how stiff it actually is. If you guys haven't actually held this boot in hand, and it really does have a very stiff feel to it. If Adidas have done that for a reason, obviously we're gonna find out in this test to see if it offers anything different compared to what the X15.1 had, which was noticeably softer and thinner. So it is gonna be very interesting to see how it actually performs because it is very, very stiff, but almost maybe a little bit harsh and critical, but it almost has a scaled down feel to it. So how that actually performs is gonna be very interesting when we go and test it. So obviously we're doing Adidas boots today, the Speed of Light pack, so we're kitted out in Adidas gear. You can just see I've got my three stripe hat on here. I've got the three stripes running down my trousers. So we are good to go with the Adidas test. Hopefully we can do a good job for the guys down at Adidas. What's gonna come out on top, the X16.1, the pure control or the pure agility? Let's find out very soon. One of my favorite things about this pitch that we actually test on is although it's a 3D surface, they've made it look like a real pitch through those grass cutting 
designs the shadowing going on so we can just see that it goes dark green light green dark green light green just to give it that very premium look i think my favorite pitch in the premier league last season was leicester cities they had that diamond cross cut going on it looks super super sharp the emirates pitch is always a very nice plush one i think they win awards most years for having the best pitch of the season what's your favorite pitch of the premier league so not the stadium itself but the pitch let us know i think leicester's diamond cut was very very sharp looking what was your favorite let us know blake's just doing some close-up shots of the pure control solio coming through in the sunshine looking sharp He's taking a picture this way, I'm filming him. And in the background, we've got a shot blue pure agilities and a solar red X16.1. What a collection from Adidas and the speed of light pack. X16.1s on your feet. Knuckle. Yeah, let's go with a knuckle. They feel alright, you know, they might do a bit. X16.1s, top bit. Uh, maybe not. Alright, T. Spars, Techers, top left. Oh no. Oh no. Speed of light, pure controls, full Pogba. Ah. Oh. Ivan Rakitic with. <laughs> good control, they're good, are they? Pretty nice. First time, go on. Look at that for a strike. Off the post, eh? Matty can, Matty can hit a ball, can't he? Pure, pure controls on, seam the striking surface, knuckle balls. Messi 16 plus, pure agilities. Come on. It's alright. I don't think it was over the wall. Unless there's a small wall. Is it, unless it's a mall of Messi's, it wouldn't have gone in. So Maddie, solid day testing. Brilliant pitch. It's been brilliant all day. How do you feel now? I'm exhausted, Blake. We tested three pairs of boots fully. Never been done before. Is it going to be done again? I'm not sure. My ankle feels like it's going to fall off. It feels all swollen and bruised. I've been striking balls for the last what three, four hours. But overall, it's given me a nice insight into how the boots perform. Obviously, they're all made by Adidas and they're quite similar, but there are some big differences as well. So make sure you check out the video and also the reviews coming up. But overall, a really successful day and I'm really impressed by Adidas. Going home, Adidas speed of light. Just hold on, we're going home. Full day of testing, lads. The speed of light play test should be up on our YouTube channel already, as well as the info video, speed of light info video as well. Check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Overall, solid Adidas pack, start of the 2016-17 season. Matty. Yes, boy. Thoughts? I think Adidas have nailed it. To be fair, I think it's been a long time coming. I think maybe a year ago or two. I think they were struggling a little bit to find their identity in the boot market, but I think they've definitely done that with the, they've got their laces pure control, and then they've also got the two pure cut models, so their laces are hidden. So I think they've really found themselves in the boot market, and they're doing a really good job of competing against Nike with all their dynamic fit collar. So I think the speed of light pack in terms of looks is brilliant. And in terms of the way they perform, I was really impressed. The Pure Control for me is the real standout boot. The colourway is lovely, and in terms of performance, it was a really serious level boot. I pretty much feel the same way. Pure Control, in my eyes, is my favourite boot, favourite colourway, favourite boot, which is kind of lucky. Uh, the red, solar red X16 looks pretty sharp as well, and the shock blue Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility. I all, feel, I all feel like they are better than the Mercury Pack designs, but that's all about personal preference. So yeah, big fan of the three boots. X16 Plus Pure Chaos virtually has the same design as we mentioned before. Overall solid pack by Adidas. Look at that chrome. Oof. Chrome is so premium, but it does flake off. So you're not getting really getting the benefits of a chrome sole plate. You're getting a chrome sole plate for the first three weeks of 
wearing these boots. Then it fades off. Actually peeled the sticker off there and it still stays on. Branding there, look, gas station, orange and black branding. Get the branding in. We're a company, we're a business worldwide so guys that has been our adidas speed of light play test vlog video if you like this video please give it a like if you want to see more of these videos please comment in the section below and if you hate this video hate these types of videos please also comment we want to know yeah so that's it thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time